Fala galera, beleza? Sejam bem-vindos aí a mais um vídeo. E dessa vez eu inicio uma nova série aqui no canal pessoal do jogo Max Payne 3. Bom, a saga Max Payne eu curto demais, galera. Joguei o 1 e o 2 há muito tempo atrás. É a primeira vez que eu vou jogar o 3 e eu espero que vocês curtam. E bora lá, beleza, pessoal? Bom, eu comecei a jogar um pouco aqui, tá? Não fui muito além, mas bora lá então. Dificuldade a gente vai escolher o médio. E é isso aí, espero que vocês curtam. Bora lá. This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited really I really needed a new start I think you're right I think I am gonna like it here it certainly it certainly ain't New Jersey it's my new life Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. 
Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. A parada ficou louca, hein, pessoal? Sure. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. Eita, nós! Calma, calma. Não tava nem com a mão no teclado ainda, galera. Ó, oh, 
vamos lá, galera. Momento de ação, hein? Não quero levar nenhum tiro aqui. Vamos com calma. Nossa senhora, dois headshot. Lindo, mano. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. Ok, vamos seguindo aqui com calma, galera. Tá, acho que aqui não tem mais ninguém. E seguinte, galera, a gente já pôde conhecer um pouquinho dos personagens que a gente vai interagir no decorrer da série. Creio que não todos, né? Mas enfim, bora lá. Bora lá, tá limpo aqui. Olha de sangue, maluco. Beleza, é aqui mesmo. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. E toma o um headshot. Nossa. Tranquila, tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Tranquila, mano. Mas é aquele policial, né? Pelo menos é o que eu acho. I imagine the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Eita! What have you Boa! Done with him? Caraca, eu achei que ia ter um monte de gente aqui. E olha o que o cara fez, maluco! Acertou um tiro na cabeça do cara. Enfim, galera, vamos seguindo com calma aqui, ó. Vamos lá. Oh! E aí, maluco, cadê você? Já era. Caraca, que susto, velho. Nossa, tiro no olho, cara. Aí, maluco, morre aí. Tá vivo ainda, rapaz, esse cara não morre. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. Tem uma escopeta aqui, galera. Vamos pegar ela. Ui! Que susto, velho! Ufa! Vamos pegar essa arma aqui também. Parece ser interessante, né? Ok, vamos seguindo então, galera. Foi <risos> um susto com o cara. Ih, aqui o lugar meio aberto. Ih, aqui o lugar meio aberto. Ih, aqui o lugar meio aberto. Ih, Beleza. Uou. They weren't far ahead. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. Nossa, cara lá. Vamos conseguir pegar a droga. Eu tenho uma outra arma, mas eu não posso utilizar, não sei por quê. Enfim, vamos lá. Não vai fazer falta. Eu dei um tiro nas costas. Duas pistolas. Opa! Duas pistolas já vai dar pra fazer um grande estrago, pessoal. Vamos lá. Opa, examinar foto. 
as the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Boa, garoto. Eita! Boa! Perfeito, galera. Uh! Vamos lá. Já era. Everything is okay. Vamos lá, pessoal. Quase morri aqui, hein? Nossa, olha que zica, velho. Headshot. Falou. No olho de novo, mano. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come on. It's okay. Nossa, chegou matando, velho. A justiça local? Que porra você acha que você falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Eita. Olha a treta, hein, galera. Ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Me ajuda. Ajuda que pariu. Ai, meu Deus. Você fez bem, Max. Se você diz isso, não se olhe tão bem. Ei, o que poderia ser melhor, hein? Os bons homens estão reunidos e os comandos sombra estão mortos. Eu acho. Então, quem é esse cara? Eu não sei. Um tipo de policial. Uma diferente branca da polícia. Não Ufa, mas... Uh, normal policiais. Eu não sei sobre essas coisas. Políticas. Em todos os lugares, políticas. Shit, Max. Você parece um pouco desgraçado. Vamos pegar esse lado de casa e depois eu vou te levar de casa também. Vamos lá. Eita. Back home it was time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. É isso aí. O cara tá acabado, galera. Que isso? Opa, capítulo 2. Bom, galera, eu vou encerrando esse vídeo por aqui, tá? Espero que vocês tenham curtido. Eu vou tentar fazer um capítulo por vídeo, talvez. Ou, se for muito curto, eu trago mais. Mas no próximo vídeo eu continuo dessa parte exatamente, ok? Então é isso aí, galera. Se vocês curtiram, deixa o um like favorito. É uma série que eu tô muito empolgada pra trazer. E a gente se vê na próxima, ok? Então é isso aí. Um grande abraço a todos e fui!